What's going on everyone? It's Brand with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, we're going over the six and seven millimeter Miami Cuban link chains. Now I'm not the Miami Cuban link king. I'm not in South Florida banging these things out but I am the light heavyweight champion of the world. Light heavyweight because I've lost 25 pounds in the last four months of gold chains because when it comes to gold chains reviews, it's exactly what I do. With that being said, let's get started. The sizes I really wanna focus in today's video is the six and seven millimeter because I feel like those are really important sizes and sizes people need to really look at. But because this is a Jacoji video, I'm gonna go above and beyond and try to answer as many questions for you guys. In the picture that you guys see, we have the five millimeter 20 inch, the six millimeter 22 inch, and a seven millimeter 24 inch. So you can see the next shot, you can see the side by side as well and kind of um, just kind of get a visual and a better understanding at what each one of these widths come with. Also on my website, if you haven't known, if you go to like the five millimeter Miami Cuban link in the product description, I made a short video reviewing each one. So you have like two and a half, all the Miami Cuban link sizes, I have a video. So check that out, that might help you out a little bit more. But overall, the five through seven millimeter is a great size. I put five millimeter in its own class, a smaller, very subtle class, but it has the box lock, which is really nice. The six and seven millimeter offers more of a presence and more of a commitment, both on the weight you wear around your neck and the financial, that weight that it's gonna take from your pocket. One of my cardinal rules with chains and in this channel is every millimeter size you go up makes a huge difference. I deal with this on a daily basis and I honestly, in a in very humble way, I'm always right with this, trust me. Um, and that's when like you, you look at the side by side between the six and seven millimeter, you see the difference, you feel the difference, you're gonna pay the difference. Um, but I like the six millimeter. If we're just focused on the six millimeter, you see it solitaire around the neck. It is a great chain to wear every day. It is not big, but definitely has the presence compared to like a four or five millimeter. So if you've been thinking six millimeter, you're on the right track. That is a great choice. I love it easily tucked in. You see the side neck, there's not much there. There's not much bulge as like a six millimeter rope or a five millimeter Franco would present. So it's subtle, you could tuck it in when you really don't wanna wear it out. And then also enjoy it when it's out. You definitely see a very well made Miami Cuban link. So the six millimeter overall, if you're that subtle guy, if you just want something that flashes but not too much, not too heavy, wear it every single day, this six millimeter is right for you. I really like the six millimeter size. It beats that five millimeter because you get a little extra width, weight, and wear with it. Now, when we bump it up to the seven millimeter, I like going up a little bit more than your expectation for one of the main reasons is once you start wearing your chain for a while, you kind of, it gets smaller and smaller every day. Um, so going with the seven millimeter is good because you kind of grow into it. It's nothing big. That's why I want to focus on the six and seven millimeter. The eight millimeter in my mind, I can't like recommend be like, oh, it's a subtle chain every day. Like I, that would just be lying to you. The six and seven really is that chain for the working man just to have that nice quality chain. Um, you go with these two sizes. So the seven millimeter is nice because it's a bump up. You see the difference. When I was filming these, making these B-rolls on the neck, to me, honestly, it looked more like an eight millimeter, but it is a seven millimeter. I say that, I have to say this in every video. The chains, the products do look bigger on camera. It's just how it is. So it's not overly dramatically big that you're gonna get annoyed with. A lot of times with Cuban links, I see it, read it all the time. People get these great prices and go with these huge sides with all this gram weight. They get it, they wear it and say like, you know what, I just can't wear this thing all the time. So I like to kind of split up. Look at me right now, I got two seven millimeter, 24 inches, a white gold, rose gold. This is a perfect everyday look. It's nothing flashy, but you definitely see I got some nice chains. So I like the seven millimeter for that reason. You give it a little more extra width, you could still tuck it in, but again, the presence is a lot more than the six millimeter. All in all guys, either six or seven millimeter is a good pick. I can make a strong case for each one of those. Just depends on what you're looking for. Again, if you're kind of thinking five, I would say go six. And if you're thinking six, I would say go seven because you want to grow into that chain and have it. And in my opinion, the Miami Cuban link is a solitaire chain because of these box locks. And I've made a whole video on it itself and I'm glad I did because it is a very big problem. The box locks are a lot wider. If you want to put a pendant on a chain, a Miami Cuban link, those bigger sizes, good luck. You're going to have a goofy bail. I honestly stopped accommodating those types of requests because it's too hard. And then you put a huge bail on a little piece. It just looks goofy so I think you got to go into the approach of this style chain a six seven or an eight or a five 
with the approach that it's going to be a solitaire chain. You could two chain it like I have. You get bored and want to add something else. Look at me go right here. Who's going to complain on that look? So you got to approach it like that. The Miami Cuban is very easy to wear, very easy to tuck in. It has a box lock. Some people love it. Some people not so much. Either way, it is a nice lock. So I think you got to approach it like that. Both have great weight. Both have the visuals that you want for a nice solitaire everyday chain to chain it, layer it, whatever you want to do. Shop Jacoji. That's it for today's video. We will see you on the next jewelry video.